Hey, what's up guys, Jordan Anderson here, and I want to thank you for joining me on this episode. Today, we're going to talk about estimates, quotes, and invoices. So we've got the business established, it's, uh, it's going well so far, we have a few inquiries, and now we've gotten an idea of what the client wants for a video, now it's time to start actually attaching some money to that service. The first thing we usually do is something called an estimate. An estimate is just... It's exactly what it is. It's an estimate of services. All right, so we have a client saying they need a couple YouTube videos for their products. So the estimate essentially is just a rough outline of the costs and services. It can be as broad as you want. This can be very specific if you want to go into that. Um, but an estimate is just kind of give the client an idea of what budget range they're in. Estimate's a great way to figure out if their budget range is sort of matching the same mindset as yours. They're giving you an idea of this video. They have this big dream of this, you know, these videos. And then you have to, on your end, figure out how much this is gonna cost, how many people it's gonna take to make this video, what kind of camera you need, what kind of data you need for storage, what kind of, you know, all these things, post-production, how long post is gonna take, how many graphics you need to buy, your music license, all these things need to factor into your estimate. But like I said, this estimate can be very broad. It can just be pre-production, uh, a broad number, production, a broad number, and then post-production a very broad number and this is just another way to get the conversation going is to you know keep the ball moving forward down the court for you guys in the description below I'm gonna make sort of a Google document of the service estimates that I use there's some you can get on QuickBooks there's plenty of templates out there I'm gonna put all these document templates in the description below so the estimate can just be a simple line item it can be you know first line pre-production second line production third line post-production you can even have a, a fourth line of say deliveries you know if you need to put it on a hard drive if you need to put it on dvds i don't know whatever delivery system you need to give your client based on their needs in some cases you don't have to do an estimate sometimes you can go right into a quote so what a quote is is a more refined and specific uh, estimate of the cost. Quote is basically an invoice before the services have been rendered. You're sending them very specific things. This is exactly how much you think pre-production is going to cost. This is how much production is going to cost. This is exactly how much you think post-production is going to cost at this moment in time. So then you quote them. So now, you know, you've had the budget estimate ideas. You're on the same page. They're on the same page. Now, you're, now we're really breaking it down that you finally have figured out now how much these three videos are going to cost, how many hours it's going to take for you to produce this, what kind of camera gear you need, how much you need to rent versus how much you need to buy how much supplies you need to make this happen, if you need to uh, rent out a venue, if you need to hire actors, if you need to hire an extra crew member such as audio or gaff or grip. And then you've also broken down now post-production so you've figured out how much, uh, how much time it's going to take exactly in post-production. You know, it's, it's usually really hard to estimate that in post-production but a good editor will have an idea, at least a very good idea of how much it's going to take to edit say these three videos and then also the supplies they need do they need a bigger computer do they need more hard drive space do they need you know do we have to go buy special sd cards xqd cards solid state drive cards to make this project all work for them to be transferred uh to post-production you figured all these details out in your quote you give them the quote and that's the i mean we're like we're talking like 95 percent accuracy is what you think uh, the project's gonna cost you. Send them the quote, they say it looks good, and then the project happens. So, you know, you do the project. Um, depending on the project, uh, you wanna charge at different times. Larger companies can do net 30. Net 30 basically means that the client will pay the vendor within 30 days, or after those 30 days, they will have interest added on to their total cost. So, you know, the longer they wait, the more interest builds up until, um, until they pay. Some do net 30, but that's for larger companies with really nice reputations. Uh, some clients you need to do 50% up front, 50% at the end. I've even done, say for weddings, you can do 75% up front. So that means all the pre-production, all the production is covered. And then the last remaining 25% is paid after the services have been delivered or after the video has been complete. Because you gotta remember in video production, it's all like we're doing services. We're not building anything. We're not, uh, you know, we're not putting in hard cost necessarily. Uh, sometimes it is just our time that we're giving. And if you give away your time and they don't pay you, you can't just get that back. You can't just return the supplies. You can't just cancel things because you've already put 
you know, you can't get those 100 work hours back. That's why you need to keep in mind uh, getting your money up front. So I would set up a payment structure that is kind of centered around the type of project that it is, but just, you know, good practice, you can do half up front, half at the end. I would say no matter which strategy you go with, I would try getting paid a significant amount up front because that money is also going to be used towards production, towards hiring your crew, towards buying the supplies, expendables, art department, all that stuff. You, you need you need to have some of that money so you're not spending it out of pocket uh, so that you can actually get the project done. Now in post-production, that again, that just takes time. So once that's all been delivered, you can request the remaining 25, remaining 35, remaining 40% of the bill at the end. So this leads us to the invoice. So we've got the quote that's kind of all building up to the project. Now the project is about to happen and usually you can send the invoice out about two weeks out before the project starts. An invoice is just a bill. It's an, it's an exact cost. Client, I need this much money from you. This is how much it costs. Pay by this date, pay to this address. That's all an invoice is. It's an exact, it's, a, it's no different than a receipt at a restaurant. It's just a it's a bill like there's all the, there's there's these big words and like it feel like when I first heard about an invoice I thought it was like the like just this huge complicated document it's it's just a re it's it's a receipt it's a it's the thing you you go to the gas station it says 20 bucks you pay 20 bucks so an invoice is the same thing just for from business to business if you're out there and you're thinking about you have no idea what an invoice is and you're not really sure and that's like super intimidating because it was for me don't worry it really is just a receipt so the client gets the invoice ideally you want the client to pay on time you want to have a good client you know hopefully you've done that due diligence in finding a good client um, they pay you the right amount of money leading up to the project hopefully you've gotten some significant amount of money before the project starts you do the project you shoot the video you edit it and then at the end once the video has been done so now that the project's been done we've gone through post uh, we have it uh, uploaded to Vimeo or we have it exported to a hard drive or it's ready for the final transfer to the client. I would then charge the final remainder of the invoice uh, before sending out that final video file because like I said earlier, this is all about time at this point because you've spent all the time in post and to just give the video away and then the client say just disappears, then you can't get those 100 hours back. It's good practice to ask for the remaining money uh, right before you send it, uh, right before you send the final file, or as you send the final file. Just you got to keep that in mind. I'm not, I'm not saying everyone's sketchy. I'm not saying everyone's like, you know, out to get you or out to scan you. But once you send out that video file to somebody, they could just disappear. So that's very much a possibility, and they can never pay you that remaining 40%. That's why I say get as much money as you can up front because if they do stiff you at the end, then you've only lost 25% of the project budget. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, and I'm not saying that, you know, again, not everyone is a bad guy. A lot of people, like, fucking 95% of people that you're gonna work with are great people, um, but you just, you just never know. Or like, or it could, you know, or you could run into a cash flow issue that you only got, you know, you spent a lot of money on the project itself, you spent a lot of time, you've paid people, you've paid your editor, and now you're having a negative cash flow issue, so you're trying to figure out how to get that money from the client, client needs to pay, you finish the video, so you just, everything needs to wrap up. So essentially that is an estimate, a quote, and an invoice simply put, and also in sort of the video production context. Um, like I said, I'm gonna put the document templates in the description below so that you can kind of figure out um, what your needs to look like. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to have these watermarks or big logos on it. You know, it could just be a table that says pre-production, production, post-production, post -production, and then total at the bottom. It could be very simple. Some good software out there that does invoicing is QuickBooks. I've used QuickBooks now for about two or three years. I'm not plugging QuickBooks or anything like that. Just my personal experience with QuickBooks. Um, there's very there's various flavors of QuickBooks. I had the self-employed one back when I was truly 100% uh, Valley Films. I was using the full version of QuickBooks, which had uh, estimates, quotes, invoices. Um, for my version now, it just has invoices, um, estimates, 
I'm not really sending too many estimates out nowadays. So QuickBooks is what I've had experience with. There's also FreshBooks. I have not had experience with that, but that is a, it's another software, online software that you can do invoicing. It's not that complicated, guys. This is something uh, that a lot of filmmakers do not want to tackle. Money is a sticky issue sometimes, but it's a, it's a very formal issue. It does not have to be personal. It does not have to feel like you're being like gross with your client. You know, I know a lot of creatives just like are super hands off about money and don't want to touch money and don't want to have to charge for their video. But if you present it in a professional manner, then they're going to treat you professionally and then you're going to get paid and uh, they're going to get a great video and you're going to get uh, the money you deserve. So thanks for watching, guys. My name is Jordan Anderson. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. Send me a direct message on Instagram. I'd be happy to answer it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. I ain't really worried about nothing. All these people all around me always worry about something, yeah. Saying I should stay up in the books and I start to build a buzz, but they the ones bugging, yeah. That's so why I don't really feel like staying. I don't really feel like playing. Quit fucking with the plans. A couple young kids, polo kicks, not rich. Stacking money on a one way trip, yeah.